Good morning there, uh, Year 6. So, welcome to what I hope will be our last week on Google Classroom, because we're due to go back into school next week. So, the same as the previous week, we're going to be recapping some previous learning that we've looked at so far in Year 6, before we start some new things when we're back together in school. So, today we are learning to use the order of operations correctly, which might sound quite a wordy, uh, learning objective. However, it's something you've done before and that is just the correct terminology for this. Big maths, something that both classes, both myself and Mrs Rose class, were pretty good at when we did that, did this before Christmas. So big maths is the order of operations, the order that we approach a calculation that has more than one operation in. Because you're all very good at Add this and add, add this, subtract this from this, multiply this and this, etc. However, when you have more than one operation in a calculation, it's really important that you know the order that you approach it to always get to the right answer. So that's why we have this mnemonic bid mass. A mnemonic is where each letter at the start of a word combines to make uh, a new word to help you remember it. So bid mass helps you remember these six different operations. So the B stands for brackets. The I, the one that people seem to forget what it means the most, is the indices. So in year six, we look at squared numbers or cube numbers. When you go into high school, you'll look at um, some other ones as well. You look at things to the power of, you'll learn all about that um, in high school, but you will do more work in indices then. But in year six, we look at squared and cube numbers. The D is division things we've been looking at then the m is multiplication addition for the a whoops and subtraction is the s so six different operations um, things that we all we know how to do all of them, but it's remembering that it's that order. Bid mass, um, some people actually call it bod mass as well, um, changing this I to O because for the for order. Um, but I think it makes more sense for it to be bid mass, remember the indices. So um, six different operations, and this is the order that you do them. So if we were to look at a question like this, and I've written bid mass out there to help you remember the order. First of all, and remember when we did some bid mass questions at the start of the year, um, I'm all right, I showed you some of these, some of you looked terrified at some of um, some of these, but none of the calculations you actually do within any of these bid mass questions are particularly difficult. It's things that you will have been doing for you know quite a few years, um, it's just knowing the order to do them to always get to that right answer. So if we have a look at this question here, we've got seven squared, add three cubed is three. So that's when we look at bid mass. So if we look at the B here for brackets, we do have a set of brackets in here. So we want to completely ignore this for the moment and want to just look solely at the brackets. So we're looking at the brackets, three cubed add three. Now we can see we do have some indices in here as well, don't we, with three cubed. So this is what we solve first of all. We don't, we don't add the three now. If we add the three now, that turns it, what does that turn it to? Six cubed? That's not what the question is. It's three cubed add three. So three cubed is the same as three times three times three. Not three times three, which is nine. Three times three times three. So three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. And then we add the three because we've solved the indices and then we add the three because we've got indices before addition, so that's why we do that. Then we add these to get to 30, and then the brackets are solved there. And now we can look at this, we've got the indices. Indices comes before addition here, so this is why we solve this. So we've got seven squared, not seven times two, it's seven squared, which is 49. And then we need to add these up, so the addition can come down, and we can add them up. You might be able to do it in your head, but if not, you put it into a method that you know and get to the answer of 79. So you can see we solved um, the brackets first to get to 30, and then we solved this to get to 49, and then we added them together and got to the answer of 79. 
So you can see none of the calculations you did there were particularly difficult. The calculations you've been doing in infant school or certainly year three. Um, but it's just knowing the order to do them. Okay, three times three times three, 27. Add three, 30. Seven squared, 49. Then add them together, 79. So nothing that is really, really difficult. Um, it's just knowing the order to do them. So let's have a look at this one. We've got another one again. And you can see here we've got two sets of brackets um, in here. Now you might be thinking, which one do we need to do first? To tell you the truth, it doesn't particularly matter as long as you solve them both before you do the multiplication. It doesn't really matter. However, because this does have a division in and this one has an addition, division is before addition. So let's solve this one first of all. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. Again, not a difficult calculation to, at all. And then if we look at this one, we've got 6 add 3, which is 9. Again, not difficult at all. And just like that, we've solved the brackets with two very straightforward calculations. And then we still need to do the multiplication because the question was to multiply these brackets by these brackets. We've solved the brackets now. So then we just times them together. 9 times 9 is 81. So can you see, it's almost like code breaking in a way. It's just going step by step, making sure you do it in order, um, making sure that you do all the operations when they should be and you get to the answer. Like I mentioned earlier, none of the actual calculations you do within um, a big mass question are really that difficult. Um, it's just knowing the order to do them in. So we've got another one here. So why don't you have a, have a go at this one? Obviously, um, we've got two sets of brackets in here. Let's have a go at solving this one first of all and see if you can get to the correct answer. So have a go at this one, pause the video and see if you get the, the answer right. So let's have a look at this one first of all. We've got two sets of brackets. However, we'll be looking at this one because this one has two sets of indices within here, doesn't it? Um, which comes before a multiplication, which is there. So let's solve this. So we've got four squared. It's not four times two, it's four squared. Four times by itself. Four times four is 16. Hopefully you got that bit. Now we've got two cubed here. So that's two. Remember, two cubed is two times two times two. So two times two is four. Four times two is eight. And then we add them up. Six, uh, 16 add 8 is 24 and you can see we've solved the brackets then the brackets are, are done now we could rewrite it if we wished if we write this out again sometimes it's a nice method to do that to rewrite the question out it just helps you to reduce it as you go so we've solved this brackets let's solve this brackets 3 times 2 which is 6 and if we wish we can rewrite it again 24 divided by 6 is 4. So the answer to this one is 4. Now can you see all those calculations you did there, none of them were particularly difficult at all. We're not dealing with really big numbers, it's just knowing the order to do these in. Um, and it can be quite, you know, quite impressive really. And you can do some quite difficult big mass questions. Um, and they look really impressive when you've solved them because they look very, very difficult, they look like very difficult um, formula. Um, which is something that you will do uh, when you go off to uh, high school. So it's um, it's really good that you have an understanding of bid mass um, before before you go into September. So let's have a go at two more, um, and then we can you can have a go at some of these yourself. So let's have a go at four squared and. Have a go at that one. So you pause the video there for me, year six, and then see if you get it right. Right, so if we look at this, we can see brackets comes first, and we do have some brackets in here. It doesn't matter that this has got a multiplication within it, which is lower down, it's got brackets, so we solve the brackets first. So we've got 9 times 5, which is 45. Now if we wish, because we've done that, we could rewrite it out again. 
because we've done that section, haven't we? We've just rewritten, I've just brought everything down, I've solved the brackets. Now, if we look at this, what's next? Indices is next here. 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. And then we can rewrite it again. And you can see the calculation is getting smaller every time. Now, what's next? We go through the addition is next. So we'll look at this. This is the addition we'll look at, don't we? Remember, when we do addition, it's the num two numbers that are either side of the addition symbol. So we've got 45 at 16. You might be able to do it in your head, but remember, you can put it into a method that you are familiar with. So that is 11, and then we can add these up to get to 61. So the final bit of the question is 61. Don't forget this last bit. Subtract 3. 61 subtracts 3, takes us to... 58. So the answer to that one is 58. Now if I, just, if I was just to show you that original question, I need to show that to someone, even if someone in year 5 you to show that to, to them, they'd be thinking I've no idea how to begin to do that. But just to going step by step, remembering the rules of bid maths, you get to the answer of 58 and none of the calculations you've done there or anything that is particularly difficult. It's again, it's just knowing that order, the order that you do these um, these questions, the order that you do these operations in. So we'll have a go at one more and then you can have a go at some of your own. So I will make the numbers slightly larger this time. But if you remember the order of operations it doesn't really make uh, too much of a difference. So let's have a go at subtracting 42 from that. So you pause the video there, your six, have a go at that for me. And you can see here, we've got brackets in here, we've got indice indices in here, we've got an addition, we've got a multiplication and subtraction. It's actually got five different bits of the bit of bid mass, hasn't it? The only one it doesn't have is division. So pause the video there, your six, have a go at this. Um, and see if you can solve it. Okay, so let's have a go. So if we look, we've got some brackets in here, so we'll do the brackets first. Bracket is 11 times by 3, which is 33. And just like we did previously, we can rewrite it after, after we've solved everything. We can do a rewrite. So the new question now is 10 squared, add 33, subtract 42. Indices is next. 10 squared, same as 10 times 10, which is 100. So we go through, we've done the brackets, we've done the indices, there's no division. Uh, the multiplication was in within the brackets. The addition is before subtraction. We've got an addition and a subtraction left. We do the addition first. So 100 add 33 is 133, and the final bit is to subtract 42. So we could do it this way, couldn't we? 3 take away 2 is 1. We can't do 3 take away 4 to become 0. 13 take away 4 is 9. It gets you to an answer of 91. So hopefully you got to that answer as well, year, year 6. There is a worksheet attached to this on... Google Classroom, so have a go at those questions and send them back to your teacher.